This is day 290, Commitments Require Habits. For 10 days, I'm cataloging the top principles that have become part of my life over the years. This has become increasingly more difficult as I think this through. I did this originally as a simple exercise because I was traveling. Now I'm realizing that this was a mistake. What started out as a simple is now an exercise in contemplation that I was not prepared for. The seventh principle is one that I learned later in life. It is this. Principle seven. A commitment requires at least one habit to be effective. This seems obvious to me now, but this simple idea evaded me for years growing up. I created many marvelous commitments in my younger days, fueled by sing significant ambition. I would set out to achieve the impossible just to fail a few days later. I would create a long list of things I needed to do, but find that this list stuffed in a drawer, uncompleted many years later. My commitments were great, but they were feckless and weak. I had no skin in the game, as the phrase goes. So how does a commitment become real? How does a commitment transition from a hope to something that sticks with you? Quite simply, a commitment needs a habit that forces you to keep on the path. A serious commitment needs more than one. You are not serious about keeping a commitment unless it is intertwined with one or more habits. That is it. This principle is quite simple and requires little explanation. A commitment requires a habit that ties you to a daily regimen of dedicated effort. If you are committed to being a marathon runner, then your habit needs to be to run almost every day. If you're committed to becoming a writer, then you must write every day. Every commitment will always have a core commitment that you cannot avoid. Keep commitments by keeping the required habit that goes along with that.